following segment is sponsored by Petland. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Good morning. We are back with the puppies. <laughs> you okay, Ron? <Ryan? laughs> And um, we, uh, we've been covering the tips for new puppy owners and how to train them. Yes, last time we talked about treats, this time potty training, which is of course what every single person with a puppy needs to do. Right, and it, you can do this with a puppy or an older dog. We mm -hmm. had an older dog, year and a half old, adopted him in, had some potty issues. A lot of adopted we, ones do. We stuck with it and now Callie, the little dachshund, is Perfect. As mm. far as she will not make the messes and all that. So we've got an American Eskimo with a lot so of energy cute. right oh here. Oh my goodness, running all around like crazy. And then we have a little Sheltie, Shetland Sheepdog, mm -hmm. who is a lot calmer and a lot love, loving. Very -er. loving. Although I gotta say that the American Eskimo has is king on happiness. There's <laughs> happiness exuding right exactly. now. Exactly. There is just sunshine rays coming right out of her face. Look at that. So on the potty training. The, we, we're going to talk about four different tools here. Okay. One is the kennel. This is the most important mm -hmm. tool to ever get. If, you, if you're like, I'm strapped for money, get the kennel because you're going to use that in a lot of different ways. In mm -hmm. this case, potty training. It's so worth it. And so how you use the kennel is there's this, nobody understands what this is. It's a, uh, a movable wall that comes with the kennel. <laughs> we took it out of ours and we haven't used it ever again, right. put it in the closet. So what happens is, is you put it in there and you, you know, it would be inside and you adjust it oh. so that it's the size for the kennel or for the dog. Dogs are denning animals. They like tight spots. Mm -hmm. One thing about a den is, is they learn to not poop or pee in it because now you got to sit it's in it. It's their space. So yeah. we're going to use that strategy with this kennel. So this wall is in a short area here for them to only stand up, turn around and lay down. That's all they need to do. And so at night, if they have an accident, and this is how we have to communicate with dogs. You know, we love to talk English here, but with a dog, we gotta talk their language. Mm -hmm. And their language is, is I don't wanna be dirty. And so when they do have a mess, now they're like, uh, there's a mess in here. <laughs> Excuse Can you? me. And I, one, uh, one of our dogs looked like exactly that. When we came to the kennel, um, <laughs> there's something happening and it wasn't me. That's what you want. And so now they learn to hold it at night. Mm -hmm. And then when you pick up the dog or when you come to him in the morning, pick up the dog and then put him down in the grass. Don't let him walk out here or they'll, they'll urinate. Real quickly, three other products. This is a stain and odor remover with an enzyme. And the enzyme is the key issue here. The enzyme is what goes after the urine. Every time a dog or a cat urinates, it's a permission to pee there again. So if it was just an accident, I can't hold it, and they do it, now they have a permission to do it again. Because their body smells it, and they're they like, well, I did some, it before. Yeah, and again, okay. we don't understand that communication, mm -hmm. but it, it's the way it is. This enzyme goes in there and eliminates that permission to pee. Okay. Chlorine doesn't work, detergents don't work, uh, all those. It has to be a stain and odor remover with the enzyme that okay. does that. So this is key to cleaning up those messes to remove that permission to pee. This is the opposite. Housebreaking, a, it's urine in a bottle. It's oh. not really urine. But okay. So, okay, now we're outside and you want this little guy to go right here. Let's say it's a corner of the yard. Spray that area every time you go out and they'll smell oh. the permission to pee. Okay. And they'll go there. And then what we talked about two weeks ago is always, treats. always treats. So when when you're now when the dog or uh, is is urinating or pooping this treat is in their nose while they're doing it don't wait yep, until that you was a come big back. point last week yeah. don't wait till you get back home to say good dog give it to them while they're yeah. doing the good thing yes and good dog good dog there's three things you can do treat good dog good dog or whatever is a reassuring mm -hmm. town and then uh scratching them right in that jowl area scientifically proven in that order treats are the number one uh words of affirmation and then third is a tactile around the jaw just like a lot of us yeah. <laughs> wait that's how my wife treats me right? i just yeah, realized sounds, this sounds yeah. right. we're gonna have to talk mrs ron all right so if you if you got any tips you have them on your pet blog yes. that you guys have at yes Petland. this actually is posted on the blog right now okay. petlandiowacity.com go to the blog up in the upper right and then scroll through them there's a lot of other training tips in there as well. And you can always stop in Petland there that'll help you too. These little girls are ready for adoption. If you want to check in and see if you like them, they are both adorable and very sweet, well behaved. And uh, thanks for the great tips, Ron. You're Absolutely very wonderful if you want to stop in and get some help. We'll be right back here on Fox 28 Morning.